everyone, today I'll show you how to make some tasty ham and avocado seasoned scrambled eggs. First, if you have ham that you already cooked, you're going to need that. What I did was I boiled my ham. While my ham was boiling, I prepared my eggs. So in this case, I used Vital Farms eggs. And of course, the other ingredient you're going to need is avocados. So in this case, these are the avocados that I used. You want to make sure they're not too firm or ripe. And while you're doing that, you also want to check on your ham and make sure that your ham is boiling okay for about 20 minutes. So in the meantime, you'll want to collect and prepare your ingredients. The ingredients that you're going to need are the following. A Spanish onion or a sweet onion. About four eggs if you're making it for four people. Scallions, two different types of bell peppers. I use the orange and green. Ginger, avocado, at this point it probably should be about six minutes left and once that six minutes is up then you're going to need it to be cut up very thin. From your boiled ham you're going to chop it up really fine and you're also going to need about six cheeses if you want it really cheesy. From your eggs that you had set aside you're going to have to add some milk to it if you want it to be extra creamy. Then you're going to whisk or mix your eggs together with the milk and pour it into your pan that already has vegetable oil or oil of your choice. Pour in all of your chopped ingredients, put your cheese on top, and then you're going to mix it with your spatula. And when you mix it with the spatula, you want to wait a little bit so that it's like a thicker texture, almost like the texture of an omelet. And after you're done mixing, don't forget to also add in your spices, and that's it. Now I've showed you guys how to quickly make some tasty ham avocado scrambled eggs. If you want to know what spices I used, don't forget to hit subscribe and send me a message asking what spices I used. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for more notifications, comment down below, and to give me a like. And until next time, this was Dinner Ideas with Melissa. Bye!